Hello guys, it's me, Nikki. Hey. A couple of weeks ago over on Twitter, at Nikki Tutorials if you're not following me, someone created this conversation about how this like soft beat is so popular right now. You see it on all the like influencers, you see it on all the celebrities, and it's a type of makeup look where it looks natural in a very glam and extra way. And in that tweet, someone said that I couldn't do that. <laughs> Just imagine me being on my phone like this, like, oh my God, yes, oh my God, oh my God. yeah, girl, that is a good. Nikki can't do it. Okay. <laughs> so when I saw that, I was like, you know what? I haven't done an in-depth makeup tutorial in so long. So today we are going back to our roots, sitting down and playing with makeup. And I'm doing so in collaboration with Marc Jacobs Beauty. As you know, I am their global artistry advisor. So this video is in collaboration with them to showcase you a couple of products that I've been really, really liking and that I'm super proud of that they came out with. So if you're excited about the good old makeup days and if you you actually want to see if I'm able to do a perfect soft beat like that, then keep on watching. Alrighty, let the in-depth tutorial commence. The first product I really want to talk about is Youth Quake. This is a brand new product to Marc Jacobs and I'm really, really liking it because I worked with it back at New York Fashion Week when I joined the Marc Jacobs Beauty team to do makeup backstage at Fashion Week. It is a moisturizer that... It's a moisturizer that perfectly preps the skin for all the paint. Whenever I plan on doing my makeup and my skin is feeling a little bit dry, I like to go in with this, really work it in, and get that moisture back. It like creates the perfect canvas. So in here are pineapple enzymes that retexturize and re-moisturize the skin. Now moving on to primer. Primer is really essential if you want your makeup to last. And before, Marc Jacobs had this product right here. This is the Undercover invisible perfecting coconut primer. So now they came out with this right here. This is the undercover blurring coconut primer. So this is great at hiding the appearance of your pores. You know, it evens up the texture. It gives you that veil of blurriness and it controls oils, meaning that it will keep your makeup on longer and making it look flawless till the end of the day. So I like to take just a tiny bit of this. You definitely don't need a lot. And I kind of tap it into the skin, tap, 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 and it creates that blurry filter. And it smells amazing. It smells like coconut. So if you love coconuts, you are in for a party. But why I like this so much is usually when it comes to like blurring primers, they become super matte, which is a good thing because that will keep your makeup on longer, but they also dry out my skin. And I have the type of skin that dries out very quickly. I have combination skin and this, thank God, doesn't do that for me. So thank God I collaborated with a brand that like gets it. But see, especially my nose, it looks blurred. It looks like there's a filter on top of it. Okay, so the groundwork has been done. I'm primed, I am ready for all the makeup, I'm ready for all the paint. Let's go in with foundation. Now I, you guys know I love this one. This is by Makeup Revolution. It is the Conceal and Define Foundation. That is the foundation that I'm gonna be going in with today. It is full coverage, it looks like skin, it looks beautiful. Now a little trick, since summertime is here, you can add in a couple of luminizing drops. And I think it's fun to let you know that if you love the Marc Jacobs Dew Drops in Do You. There is a brand new color for my dark skin divas out there. This is the new color. Look at that, it's a lot more tan, a lot more deep. This is Tantalize. Okay, let's start working that into the skin and make sure that if you want full coverage from your product to tap that sponge onto the skin. So no smearing, no dragging, up and down short tapping motions. And look at that. Ooh, it's got a beautiful, healthy shine to it. The skin is looking right. The forehead, baby, because my forehead has been a problem area, but it's, I woke up this morning and it cleared up a lot. So I was like, okay, this is a good makeup day, honey. Ooh, yeah, look at that base, honey. Look at the base. I love makeup so much. For concealer today, I'm using the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer. So I always start tapping the bottom of the concealer first, 
to make sure that everything that's like sort of on my cheeks is blended to perfection like that. Look at that, ooh, flawless. And then you look up and you barely tap underneath the eye so you get the most coverage. Hey, Jackie, Ina, thank you for the tip, honey. Barely tap the under eye like straight to the lashes so it remains the most coverage ever. And then I'm gonna set everything using my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder and Butter. I quickly went off camera to do my brows and to do the first eye. And as you can see, it is a very smoky, sculpted, summer, any like any season really, type of look. I mean, when you look at all the inspiration, one thing that really speaks to me is that overall, the look is very matte when it comes to the eyes. There's a lot of bronziness going on on the skin and a lot of dew and glow. But when it comes to the eyes, it is fairly matte and very sculpted. And now remember, Miss Tutorials over here has hooded eyes. And I love this technique because you go beyond the lines, you go beyond the skin and sculpt your own dream, really. So let's start it off, let's Optimus Prime. The palette I'll be dipping into today is by ColourPop and Becky G. This is Salvaje. And I'm going in with this color right here, and that is called Carmelo. And with this, we're gonna build our structure. I pick up that color on a Morphe M433 brush, and I start placing it. I look straight into my mirror, so not like down or up. I look straight into my mirror, and I place that color on the outside of my crease but above my crease. This is the first step. If you're following your own natural lines, if you have hooded eyes like I do, it's it's all just gonna fall down and nobody's gonna see it. So we gotta go in and create our own height. So I look forward and I go above where my natural crease is and I start stamping in that color. Now, like I said, this look is very sculpted, so I'm also bringing it onto the lid and blending it in towards the eye more towards the lash line for a smoky liner look. Then I go ahead, pick up more, and place it right here on that outer corner, cover that entire lid, and now you see that the outer portion of your eye is completely covered, but we need to find our angle. And I think the best angle for like a winged out sculpted shape like this is by just following the waterline, so like right there. Just stamping it in. Going up into that crease. Okay, now that you've got that outer corner down, it is time to build more structure in your crease. So just softly, I pick up more of that color and I start bringing it in towards the center of my eye. Just using soft circular motions. I'm barely touching the skin. And see, we're going in, baby. I'm bringing it in, but almost slanting up towards like this portion of the brow. We're, we're basically hitting that. So we're going up, 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 honey. Then we're gonna do something scary, but have faith. <laughs> we're talking about makeup here, but have faith. We're gonna go up onto that brow to like the, the first third of the brow and then down towards this portion of sort of like the, the side of the nose bridge. So basically the shape is like going out like a cat shape into the crease, up to that brow, down towards this portion here. Does that make any sense? The most scary part is getting it into that brow. I'm blending into my brow and bringing it towards this nose line, we call it here. Now a little trick is to sort of like smush it into the front of the brow so you know where you're going. Little circles into the front of the brow brushing downwards do the magic for you. Then I pick up a Morphe M562 and I'm placing that brush flat against my skin and from that sort of structure, you wanna kind of scratch above it to create your fade. This, by holding the brush like this against the cheek and sort of like waving at the blend, you're giving it that soft haze. I'm barely touching the skin too. And for this outer corner here, since we're doing that pulled out shape, you can really softly fade 
that out. From that same palette, I'm taking the dark brown called Cafecito. Cafecito, pasito. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I'm saying it. And one thing I've definitely also noticed is that the outer corner and the lash line are like a smoky, sultry, dark brown. I just dropped a brush. So I'm definitely gonna use that color to darken that outer portion up a bit. Kind of tapping it on. As soon as you take a dark color like this and you start swirling it onto the eye, you will have fallout for days, honey. So be cautious. Just stamping it on, blending it into the mix and getting the drama. See, ooh, yes, yes, yes. Like, okay, for the lid, I'm now taking Luna, that matte white sort of like really like beigey light shade. And you can opt for a shimmery shade here. I just love the beauty of having an all matte eye with this type of look. I don't know, it's, it's like really hitting all the feels for me. So I'm just setting that portion that we haven't really done much with yet. With this shade, you can go all the way up and kind of reinforce the contrast between light and dark. See what I'm doing? I'm giving it back that height. Now I'm taking that dark brown color, Cafecito, and I'm stamping it onto where I would normally apply a liquid liner, so onto the lash line. And this creates for a very soft but effective smoked out lash line. Then for the lower lash line, I take Caramello and I just stamp it on. And don't drag it in too far because with a lot of the shapes on the bottom, I'm seeing a lot of darkness towards the corner and then as it fades in on the lower lash line, it becomes lighter and lighter. So I'm definitely channeling that. So now that I'm reaching that outer corner here, I'm going in with Cafecito and bringing the sculpted drama. I think it is super important to connect the lower lash line to the outer corner here to make it one. Another brush just went down. <laughs> and then another thing I think is vital to this look is opening up the waterline using a nude or white pencil. My favorite is by ColourPop, the cream gel liner, and this one is in the color Honey Dude. Okay, that is it sculpting wise and shadow wise. Now pop on your favorite pair of lashes and bottom mascara and I'll be right back. All right, time for the cheeks and the face portion is really, really important to this look because when you look at all the inspiration, a lot of structure is happening on the eyes, but even more structure is happening on the face. So I'm going in with my Marc Jacobs bronzer in Tantric, but I do wanna let you know that along with the dew drops, there also now is a deeper shade of bronzer. This is also in the shade Tantalize, and uh, yeah, dark skin divas, hello. So a lot of the warmth is happening around here. So the forehead is sculpted to, to the heavens and a lot of warmth is almost on the spots where you would highlight. So that is what we're doing today, grabbing my Marc Jacobs bronzer and then really high up, like I'm on my highlighting spot, I start swirling in that warmth. You don't wanna take it too far in, about like halfway of the cheeks, but keep it high up, baby. And then if you have a large forehead, 10 head, like I do, you're gonna love this trend because we are here to cut it in half. <laughs> Guys, how do you feel about the in-depth sort of makeup tutorial that I'm doing today? It, um, it brings me back. I feel like I don't do them as much anymore because there's basically not a lot of demand for it. So I hope that you guys are liking it, even if it's just a little less of a bunch than usual. So yeah. Let me know how you think these videos are and if you still enjoy them. One super important thing is to contour the nose like nobody's business. A contoured, perfected nose in this look is vital. So I take my brush that has my bronzer and I just kind of scratch it over it to give myself that warmth. I, I just focus on getting that color and that shape first and I will focus about the shape after, once I start carving it out. But it's missing that connection from that inner portion to the nose contour. So I take a fluffy brush and I just connect 
that inner portion of the eye to the nose to give myself that structure. So like I said, now it just looks like warmth. Now it just looks like a blob of bronzer on the nose. So I'm gonna take a face powder and a dry beauty sponge and carve out the sides and the top to give it shape. So I almost come from that inner corner and drag it onto the sides of my nose. So inner corner, drag it down. And I'm also gonna take a little bit and apply it right here on the bridge to get that, see? And now you've got a very sculpted nose, but of course you don't wanna leave it like this. That's a, a little, a little extreme. So I take a big face brush and I kind of dust away the edges and that leaves you with a perfectly contoured, snatched nose without all the fuss, without like drawing lines and blending out the lines. It's a quick way to get a perfect snatched nose. Now going in with a whisper of Max blush in peaches and also more up towards the side. Not really on the apple, we're really creating this like slanted structured face. So more towards where the bronzer is too. For highlighter today, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in Bloom Time. Oh. Oh, deadly. And you know that sort of dew is always going on, so I'm also popping the slightest bit on my forehead, on the chin, and of course I'm gonna do the tip of my nose. Now it's time for another iconic portion of the look. Overdrawn, penciled, nude, glossy lips. You see them on everybody. Lip pencil has really made its comeback and we're all using it to just create the illusion. So I'm going in with the Makeup Forever Artist Pencil in Anywhere Caffeine. It's one of my favorites because I love the tone and I love the, the formula of these pencils. Now what I'm seeing a lot is that a lot of artists just create like a, a half circle here at the cupid's bow. I don't necessarily like that look on me. It's a little too much because I've got my lip fillers going on. It's like, it's like a lot, okay, it's a lot. But I do love to kind of go over the edge when lining my lips to give myself that extra pout. So I always pull my lip in like this, like, huh? And then I just kind of create the McDonald's sign on my cupid's bow. <laughs> Like that. Now, of course, you can go bigger. You can create that half circle right here, but I like it like this. Now I'm just gonna frame the lip. For lipstick, I'm taking the KKW Beauty Nude Lipstick in number one. You want this to be nude, honey. So I definitely bring it up to that lip liner. I think it's weird if you just stay below it and it's sort of just like sitting there. Uh, so blend this in with the contours you just applied to those lips and oh, do you see the fantasy coming along? Now I will say you either love that look or you hate it. I feel like there's no in between. I obviously love it. I'm really excited about this. Marc Jacobs Beauty has come out with a special edition glitter colored enamored lip glosses. Enamored with pride. It comes in a special pride packaging. And this color right here is stunning. <laughs> this color here is called Pink Parade. And look at that glitter. Look at that shine. It's gonna go perfect with this glossy nude lip trend. And for gloss, definitely bring it all the way to the edge. Boom, some setting spray and we're done. And that is it guys, I feel like this is one of the very highly demanded looks that I see going around lately and I absolutely love it. And to that one person on Twitter that said that I couldn't do it, Hi. It was also great to be able to showcase you a couple of the new Marc Jacobs Beauty products available at MarcJacobsBeauty.com and Sephora.com. So uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's go on to the Dutch word of the day. For today, I thought it was pretty difficult, but I came up with one sultry. Zwul. Zwul.
<laughs> Zvul. I don't I, I don't know how to bring it to you. Zvul. That eye look you've got going on is so zvul. <laughs> if you want to be featured in my next video, all you have to do is leave a comment down below featuring the Dutch word of the day or leave a video response on Instagram under the hashtag Dutch word of the day. I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you want more in-depth makeup tutorials back on my channel. And I love you. And hopefully I will see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.